so I'm supposed to be just about to take Betty out for a walk. Um, but as you can see, it's biblical. So that ain't happening at the minute. So the coffee machine's gone on and um, I brought the bike box in because it's that time to start and pack Mrs. C's bike up for a race um, in Portugal on Saturday. So yeah, uh, getting the prep all done now while it's absolutely horrible. So um, yeah, got the big Evoc soft bike case out. This has been with us all over the world. Um, really good bike box and you can pack it with loads of stuff um, takes up to um, I think it's 30 kilos we can we can pack in it and that includes the bike so you can imagine how much clothes and shoes and helmets and all the other wetsuits and all the other things that we put in there it's not for everybody because it is a bit bulky but it isn't heavy I mean obviously it's 30 k but it's easy to manage and maneuver the only downside to it is that Sometimes when we're trying to get it from A to B in a taxi, the taxis aren't big enough. Um, we've had that happen to us a few times. And it can be a pain in the arse, to be honest, um, and a bit worrying when you're trying to um, go get your plane. But, you know, it's a small price to pay, really, because um, of all the extra stuff that you can put in it. So, yeah, we like it. We've had it for... Oh, when did we get it? 2017, I think we first got it, when I went over to Sorry to race. Um, and yeah, it's a, a cool bit of kit. So I'm gonna do a short video about packing it up. Um, yeah, just, just get the bike packed up and uh, that's one less thing we have to think about. Um, so yeah, catch it a bit. <clears throat> So, I'm supposed to be just about to take Betty out for a walk. Um, but as you can see, it's biblical. So, that ain't happening at the minute. So, the coffee machine's gone on. And um, I brought the bike box in because it's that time to start and pack Mrs. C's bike up for a race um, in Portugal on Saturday. So, yeah. Getting the prep all done now, while it's absolutely horrible. So, um, yeah, got the big Evoc soft bike case out. This has been with us all over the world. Um, really good bike box, and you can pack it with loads of stuff. Um, takes up to, um, I think it's 30 kilos we can, we can pack in it, and that includes the bike, so you can imagine how much clothes and shoes and helmets and all the other wetsuits and all the other things that we put in there. It's not for everybody, because it is a bit bulky, but it isn't heavy. I mean, obviously it's 30 k but it's easy to manage and manoeuvre. The only downside to it is that sometimes when we're trying to get it from A to B in a taxi, the taxis aren't big enough. Um, we've had that happen to us a few times and it can be a pain in the ass, to be honest um, and a bit worrying when you're trying to um, go get your plane but you know it's a small price to pay really because um, of all the extra stuff that you can put in it so yeah we like it we've had it for oh when did we get it 2017 i think we first got it when i went over to sorry to race um, yeah, it's a, a cool bit of kit. So I'm going to do a short video about packing it up. Um, yeah, just just get the bike packed up, and uh, that's one less thing we have to think about. Um, so yeah, catch in a bit. So there's Mrs. C's bike, and we've never packed it before in this um, Evoc bike box, obviously, because it's a new bike and we've never took it abroad. Um, and there's Betty in her favourite place under the table. 
So yeah, we're gonna put a, a bike in a box. Let's do it. So as you can see inside the bike frame, we have got a frame that we can attach the bike to that we bought separately and um, yeah, it's, it just keeps it steady you put your um, skewer through there and um, it's a pretty good bit of kit and that was extra it didn't come with a box we just bought it because we just thought it would make it more sturdy and secure uh, first thing I do is put our truck pump in which is here Chuck that right at the back. Probably the other way around. Just tuck it in there. And then there's a little pouch at the back, and you can see that. And we put all our gubbins in there. And I've got a, got a spanner for pedals if I've got to take them off. Don't think I'll have to take them off this time, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's a, an extra bit of kit that we got um, to help us pack up the bike up. So that's the bike all packed. It was a bit of a ball ache, to say the least. Um, all the bikes are different sizes, obviously, um, different dimensions, and the frame you've got to try and fit it to um, the bike frame. Um, so I've took three, four different bikes in this bike box. Um, I've took my Boardman. Um, road bike which fits on the frame lovely i've also took my um old chinelli um really old it's not even a carbon bike and that fits on the frame lovely um earlier on in the year we took mrs c's bmc which didn't really fit on the frame um because it was too big and now we're trying this s works uh, specialized and i've adapted it it does fit on the frame um but because it has got um, the disc brakes on it, it's a different kettle of fish, really. So I've had to take a couple of um, the skewers from another bike and adapt. So, um, yeah, I could tie it down to the frame. Front was all right, back is a little bit dodgy, um, shall we say. But all in all, not too bad, I guess. Um, I've wrapped it up as, with bubble wrap as you can see. I had to take the headset off with other bikes I've not had to do that. Also I had to take the saddle off uh, again with the other bikes. I've never had that problem before so yeah. There it is. It's all packed and um, just one other thing that we, we do is we put the wheels in a, a wheel case before we actually put it in the case um, as well so yeah. Hopefully we can get it to the other end all in one piece and we can put it back together again. Uh, watch this space. <laughs> 